Acne Facial Cleaner. And it's not just facial. You can use this on your body, on your back, anywhere where you have a problem with breakouts or acne. This is the brand name. This is the Walmart. And just to let you guys know, I have been using the Walmart for a little while because this is really hard to test just as a quick first impression because there is an active ingredient in there that actually gets rid of breakouts and pimples and stuff like that. So I thought it would be smart to start testing the knockoff brand versus the actual brand name one ahead of time. And let me just tell you, I'm going to say skip both. <laughs> there are other brands with the same active ingredient. Number five. For example, this guy here, the brand name one of this guy is $9.48. The Walmart knockoff is $8.48. So you're saving about a dollar. This brand here, which is anywhere between $11 and $15, best stuff on the market. If you have problems with breakouts, this stuff, I can't live without it. I did try these products just because they're a little bit less expensive and I thought, well, let's give them a try just in case they have the same active ingredients, but they're not the same thing. So that's why I'm kind of speeding through this one because I'm just like, skip it all together. Pay the extra money and buy the one I love because I'm telling you, you will never have another breakout again. Not on your back, not on your face, not anywhere where you normally have breakouts. And if you have kids that struggle with breakouts, buy them this. Hashtag not sponsored. So this is the Walmart brand. Just want you guys to see what it looks like. Just a little bit. And then the actual brand name. I was actually shocked. I wouldn't be shocked from the knockoff because I'm going, it's a knockoff. But for the actual brand to perform the way it did, just all right, I was just like, eh. Both have the same consistency. Both have the same exact smell. I almost wanted to return it and not tell you about it, but the reason I included it in this video is to tell you to just skip it. But if you're on a budget and this is what you can afford, I would say just go with the knockoff because I was not impressed with the brand name. So for all of those reasons, I would give both of them three Vivian heads. And I would give this one five, 20, five Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have the Dollar Tree knockoff brands don't want you to know about. Number one, OxyClean and Dollar Store OxyClean. Awesome power oxygen. Never in my entire life have I ever used OxyClean. I thought it was all hype because there is a million infomercials. I mean, remember way back when Billy Mays, he was pimping this stuff out. I just thought it was kind of gimmicky, but a lot of people love this. They've sold a gazillion tubs of this stuff and Dollar Tree's like, we're gonna get in on that. One dollar. And I think they used to sell them in these little tubs and I wasn't able to find it. I only found these big ones. If they work the same, who's gonna make the infomercial? Me. In the infomercials, they promise all kinds of things, even that it will clean wine stains. And now they have a juice box for the adults. So I thought, Vivian, you're gonna have to take a sip and then spill some for the team. Dollar Tree is known about it too. Ooh, and it has a scoop or two for one dollar. Let's see what this looks like. And it smells nice. They smell like they came from the same factory. That's just an assumption. Now in the infomercial, you know, they used to have this brown tub and then they would put it in and mix it around. I always wondered what was in that. I have some instant coffee right here. See, that looks like the infomercial, doesn't it? You know what's funny about that infomercial is that the water, instead of turning clear, it turned white. Is that studio magic or what? Shouldn't the water be clear and not white? Is that gonna leave residue? I'm noticing that the one from Dollar tree it's not as finely powdered as the actual oxyclean this one's chunkier let's see i'm trying to recreate the commercial okay there's no residue there's no more product left same amount half nothing's happening we'll do a little bit of coffee we'll do a little bit of red wine some soy sauce spray oil a little bit of lipstick girl don't mess up my towel a little coffee I will be a true believer. Finally gave in to the OxyClean. Let's give it five seconds to dry and then we're going in while I waited. Look, I filled these little squeezy bottles with the same amount. I have a lot of friends in Ireland, Netherlands, Australia, the UK. Canada. Do y'all use OxyClean? Let me know in the comments down below. I have some water here. Look at me all professional with squeezy bottles. Okay. <gasps> 
Why is this hot? Is that the oxygen kicking in? Let's see if this one's hot. It's not. <gasps> I'm gonna have to show you, look, look at that, 100. Oh, y'all don't have the activating power. 79.5. Ooh, awesome people. Y'all better get on that. Did y'all know? Theirs gets warm. Probably to warm up this. The bottom of this is expanding. The bottom of this one is flat. See how this one's wobbly now? Pressure is in there. Again, here's the before. Let's go to town. We're gonna start with this one. Dollar Tree, you are about to look bad, I think. The lipstick. This lipstick is thick, you have to rub it, maybe. I'm gonna let it soak while we do the OxyClean. Or, oh, excuse me, sir. Did y'all see that? See, look, now it's flat. It's not wobbly anymore. She's just too happy to see me. Let's start with the Dollar Tree, since you got to go first. Just smudging. Lipstick was gonna be tough because it's gonna smear. Let's do the OxyClean, same thing. So if you're seeing your side chick, lipstick is gonna be hard to take off. She's gonna catch you. Let's do the wine. Here and here. The drops are turning it green. Why the Dollar Tree side turned that shit to fungus green? But okay, wait a second. It's kind of turning white. Look, it's kind of fading. Do you see it's kind of ombre? Now let's try the original OxyClean. Look, they're both green. This one is definitely turning a lighter shade of green way faster. Let everything just sit. Don't touch it. Just let it marinate. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct word. Coffee. Now with the original OxyClean, the Dollar Tree green that was on the red wine and the OxyClean green that was on the red wine. Y'all need to work on this formula. Ready, one, two, three, go. I'm about to jump on this bandwagon because look, this is working, yeah, 11 times faster than this guy. Dollar Tree, I'm losing hope right here. Maybe it's not gonna work that great with soy sauce. They both kind of look the same. Let's try the OxyClean because nothing happened with the Dollar Tree one. Oil is tricky, so I don't have high hopes for this one either. This is the OxyClean side. This might be the winner. I'm gonna say skip out on this for now. You're getting a dollar's worth of scrub and stain removal. For all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the totally awesome OxyGen to Vivian Heads. Now the OxyClean, just because I haven't used it before, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy three Vivian Heads. It's a little pricey. It leaves a bit of a residue behind, but I think it's gonna work. Parker and Bradley Wood Furniture Repair Kit versus Dollar Tree. <laughs> $7.99, $1. But I got two because I wanted the whole rainbow of colors. Sometimes you have real dark furniture, sometimes you have light. I have here all kinds of colors. It's not real wood, okay? This is what people are putting on their floors and sometimes your floor gets scratched. Sometimes your end table gets scratched. Sometimes it has a watermark. People don't believe in coasters anymore. This is promising to solve the problem. You don't have to donate the damn nightstand. We busted these up as good as we could. See all the scratches there? We got it good. Perker and Bailey. They also have little crayons. They look like crayons, but I think it's wax to like fill in any deep scratches. So if you have just like a watermark from soda or letting your drink just sit there for three days, a mold is growing on it. It's used dirty. I don't think the little crayons will help. Maybe these, it happens to the best of us. I can't talk about shit that doesn't happen to me because then how can I tell you about it? It's either this is gonna work or we're getting new furniture. You even get a sharpener. Nope, still not worth eight bucks to me. So many of you guys have been messaging me, tweeting me, communicating with me somehow to tell me that Dollar Tree is raising their prices. We're all freaking out about it, but I slept on it. And here's what I think. We're not gonna give up on them yet. We're upset. It was a shock for one second, but you guys, you know why I do Dollar Tree videos? Because the stuff there is so good. So I'm gonna give them a pass. I'm not mad at them. It didn't matter what's trendy. You got all the colors in your furniture. Now these are pretty deep scratches. So I'm gonna try it first with just filling them in. And if they look still, really obvious then we'll try the little crayon filling thing here's my paper towel you ready start here you see what I mean you can't leave that like that then you come back and you wipe it see look Wow. So you gotta practice <laughs> practice on a test area like that big in the corner of the room. Don't mess up your damn floors following my instruction. Does it look good? Yes. Okay, so here's the maple. And I'm gonna do the same thing because it's only fair for me to go to and then wipe. Okay. 
Okay. Leave your wife fast. <laughs> okay, don't do this. They're both performing the same. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Just get your new furniture. Do I have a furniture person out there? What kind of spray? What can we get to fix the floor? Could you imagine if you did not do a little test area on your little sample? Girl, I'm gonna jack up your floors if I come over. I can't open up that floor repair business. I know somebody's saying, Vivian, you need to read the instructions. And Vivian, <laughs> you uh ain't even matching the right coat. I know. Oh, and Vivian, that ain't even real wood. It's fine. Look, doesn't that look real? We gotta be able to repair these too, okay. Oh, hell no. That's not even close to being right. The real estate agent is going to be like, we can't sell this house, Vivian. My real estate agent, her name is Phyllis. I love her. She's going to be like, Vivian, what the hell are you doing again? I think the biggest takeaway so far is you have to move quickly. Don't be on the phone. Eh. Don't be on YouTube watching my video and trying to do this. I'm not impressed with either of the two. For the price though, you might as well be pissed off at them. So I'm going to give the Dollar Tree Furniture Repair Markers one Vivian has. Play around with it, mix and match. I don't know, but good luck. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> uh oh. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, Aldi's done it again. This is Aldi's dupe to the Dyson Stick vacuum here is my dyson as you can see it's a little beat up but it's just loved but this baby when i first bought it when it first came out was 399 dollars do you smoke aldi said wait a second we can have the same vacuum for 89 dollars 99 cents for the dupe a stick vacuum it is also a chargeable vacuum that is wireless i think we're comparing apples to apples here i did take the dupe out to charge it so they're both fully charged and it's a little difficult to show you here but you can use it as the long stick vac or you can use it as the little handheld which that's why i love it because if i'm just trying to pick up stuff like on a table or dusting then i use just the one small handheld piece this piece here 89 dollars Yes, ma'am. And I think they came in two colors, black and white. So here you're going to see all of the attachments that come with it. You're going to get the wall bracket, which Dyson brings a wall bracket for charging. You're going to get the long nozzle. You're going to get the large brush nozzle. You'll get the nozzle holder. You're going to get a small brush nozzle. And of course, the floor nozzle here. The exact pieces you're getting with your Dyson. If you think that you found a store who can do dupes and knockoffs better than Aldi, we're about to bet some money because there's not a company that does it better. You'll see when I show you this guy. When I went to Aldi to pick this guy up, I could not find him anywhere in the store. You might not be able to find them. So good luck. If you find one, let me know in the comments down below. But when I went to go pick this guy up, I couldn't find him in the store. I had to ask the nice gentleman, hey dude, I asked him the stick vacuums and he said to me, the Dyson? <laughs> yes, he did. Like the employees know. The employees know. I wonder it's part of their meetings. Like, hey guys, we got a Dyson dupe this week. He referred to it as the Dyson. I didn't want to because I was like, it might not be a dupe of the Dyson, but oh no, the employee said. I was like, yes, ma'am. That's the one. <laughs> there was one left and somebody had tucked it behind. Oh, I said, that's mine. Give me that. $89. We're about to fist fight right here. There's nobody there but me, but <laughs> we'd have been fist fighting for sure, for sure. So this is the Dyson for reference. You guys ready? Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. I don't know how they're allowed to do it, but thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, go. Boom. <laughs> Wow, it looks even nicer. It's taller, but look at the top. See how they're designed with like these funnel looking things on top? That's what they look like from the top. <laughs> nice. They both have the same little cylinder to catch all of your dust. The Dyson here on top has the button where you can vacuum with a regular kind of suction or an eco suction, and then it has a max. When it's fully charged, if you use that max feature, it only lasts like 15 to 20 minutes. At least that's my experience. This one also has the eco go there and then on top these little lines light up to tell you if it's fully charged or if it's not it also has a max button now i do like that this one has just little buttons instead of this little tab for the prize dyson you don't need to get a little bit more modern is this not sexy look at the top of it why do i think Tesla when I'm feeling this guy. Listen, if you packed this up for me and you didn't tell me this was from Aldi, I'd be like, damn, that's a great
great vacuum because it feels really nice. Oh my God. Okay, so here's your stick. Is it not sexy? It's like a matte black. Oh, leave this matte black. Oh, this is sexy. Here's the one Dyson gives you and here's theirs. Theirs is a little bit longer. Here's what these ends look like. Those are the little buttons you push to attach. Here is your bracket. This is what you install on the wall so it can hang and charge at the same time. I love this feature. I love having my Dyson up on the wall. Yeah, we have so much stuff. Oh, here's the little bracket that holds these little attachments. Here's the bottom floor nozzle, as they're saying. Is it just like, look, they even have the same colors, the purple and the red, the Dyson, the purple and the red. <laughs> no goddamn shame. I love it, no shame. <laughs> Here's your small nozzle. Ooh, look at that. See, I like to use this for uh, dusting. Do you? Or crumbs. You can do that. Oh, a little one. Dyson didn't give me a little baby one. Here's the Dyson handheld, I guess, this is the same as this. I do love that the one from Daiso, you can move that like that. <laughs> That's cool. I like that it's kind of like a transformer. You can move that around. This piece is amazing. When you're trying to get into really small areas, suck it up. And then this, an, an extra piece for later. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think it's another nozzle holder, but I don't know where I would put that, but it's okay. We have enough pieces. You're also gonna get your manual, which comes with a three year warranty. Tell me how long your Dyson warranty is for. You'll be surprised, but see, you can see it right here. They have it in white and in black. Get the black one. There's this guy on YouTube and he does a lot of vacuum tests. I think his whole channel is about vacuums. Vacuum wars? That might be his channel. I don't remember, I apologize, but this is his idea. He took a foggy machine, you guys, and look at me, the mother Yes, I bought a fogging machine just for this test because I had to do it because it's such a great way to test this. He got a fogging machine and then he attached this to like this. He blew air through this area here to see how sealed in this little chamber thing is. Because if you're vacuuming and it's getting pushed through here, is it just not falling out? All the dust is just not getting rotated through the air. And then we know which one's working better and which one is leaking all that dust back into the air. And we're sucking it up into our lungs when we're vacuuming. That's gross. Okay, it's working. I even have lights. This is like a club now. First things first, we will test the Dyson. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the fog that's in there. Is any coming out? Is any coming out? No. Oh, the Dyson's impressive. Nothing's coming out of it. Oh, no. Okay, machine, stop because you're messing up my setup. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I love the LEDs. You guys can see how cool that is. That is an amazing test, Mr. Vacuum Guy. Let's try this guy. Let's see if this one leaks out. The Dyson, impressive. There is nothing coming out except through here. It's sealed tight. Uh-oh. It did kind of blow out from the top, but it's pretty good. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, so look, both of them. I'm gonna turn them on so I can see what happens to it. <laughs> Gone. Why is this experiment so fun? Oh, <laughs> this is like a nightclub. I want to turn this off in a second, but hold on a minute, hold on a minute. One thing I hate about the Dyson is that I have to hold the little, what is this called, trigger? When I let it go, it turns off, right? This one I just noticed, I can let it go. and you win. I don't have to hold that stupid little thing the whole time I'm vacuuming. Dyson, y'all need to take a tip from Daiso. As far as the fog test, they both did excellent, but the Dyson was airtight. There was nothing coming out of this thing except through obviously the front opening, but any of the little cracks around it, no fog was leaking out. This one, 
like that, just a little bit. Not enough for me to go, oh, it failed that test, it didn't. If the Dyson research and development team is watching or has me on during one of their training classes, let me give you a tip, steal from the dupe. <laughs> because the little feature where this thing just stays on is everything. They're winning because it stays on. My finger gets tired. This one stays on. I even forget and I keep wanting to hold it. And then I'm like, wait a second. I don't have to keep my finger on the trigger. It's just on. This is very 82 having to hold it down. So this one is on eco and now this one is on eco. Listen to the difference. Here's the dupe. If you want it max, you just click there and then it shows you. The Dyson, you have to manually, again, 1982 happening right here. Come on guys, that's embarrassing. Daiso went and studied your product and the stuff that people probably complained about. They're like, we're gonna do better. We're gonna modernize it and give it German engineer technology. It is from Germany, because <laughs> Aldi is from Germany. Okay, you just snap that on. And then you just snap this on. I don't know, if this is not sexy to you, I don't know what's sexy. Okay, now my little beat up Dyson, <laughs> same idea. You just snap it on. It's also a matte silver. They're both the same length. The Dyson is smaller than the actual Dyson. The Dyson looks a little bit smaller, more compact, almost like this little cylinder thing on the Dyson is smaller than what we're getting in the Aldi one. This one is way bigger. Now put on your sexiest hooker heels and let's go vacuum the carpet. And as you guys can see, unfortunately, the Dyson won that test. Even though the dupe did a good job, it did not do a great job like the Dyson did. The Dyson didn't fail me that time. Here's another thing that I noticed that I didn't notice before. Another bonus feature that Dyson needs to copy from the dupe. Did y'all notice? This has a light. The Dyson doesn't. Y'all saw that? The Dyson, they charge you an extra $700 for the light. <laughs> you out of your damn mind. Throw in the light for the price that I'm paying. Aldi did it. Aldi figured it all out for $89.99. I'm sure you guys can fit it in the budget for $500 or $400, whatever they are now. Y'all can figure it out, Dyson. I'm gonna say this is an amazing deal. If you can find one, pick it up. My final thoughts, I love my Dyson. It's way overpriced. So if you wanna save yourself $300, Go hunt one of these Aldi dupes down and let me know that you found one. Good luck, it's gonna be a scavenger hunt, but save yourself the $300. The suction is not as strong, but I'm gonna give them points for the little light and for this thing staying on at all times. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Aldi Dyson dupe three Vivian heads. Dollar Tree's dupe of the Dawn soap and the brand name Dawn. The giant bottle from Dollar Tree cost $1.25. The Dawn costs $4. We love Dawn. We know they work and the little baby ducks. Remember the cleaning of the little baby ducks? <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to do that one day. But Dollar Tree is giving us 27 gallons of product for $1.25. We have to give it a try. We have to. For that price, do you know how many duckies we can clean? <laughs> and for the ultimate test, here we go. Both bowls have been on my counter for 24 hours with nasty lard floating on top. This is so nasty. Oil just sitting there caking the top of this water. So what we'll do is a couple of drops of the Dawn soap, a couple of drops of the Dollar Tree Dawn dupe. Then we're just gonna wait to see which one is gonna cut through the grease because that's what Dawn does. So we'll start with the Dawn first. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. 
I'm not going to touch it. Let's see how well it does with the cut through the grease kind of scenario. Okay, Dollar Tree. The only complaint I have about the Dollar Tree just right off the bat is that the lids are very cheap and you can tell they kind of been leaking. All of the bottles were like that. So y'all got to fix that. Ready? One, two, three, go. Not sure why, but the one from Dollar Tree seems to have broken through the grease. I'm going to put a little bit more of this one because I feel like the one from the Dollar Tree just has done more. Just based on my first impressions, I'm going to tell you that the Dollar Tree one, it's giving it a run for its money as far as breaking up this grease puddle that I have here. Okay, let me take off my ring because I'm going to put my hand in here and this is so gross. I'm going to just going to swish it around like that. Whichever one of my hands come out with more oil, you're in trouble. You're on punishment, one of you two. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. The Dawn has broken down all of the grease that had all been kind of floating on the top. Dawn embarrassed you, Dollar Tree, because all that talking and oh, look at all my hands. Can you guys see that? The Dollar Tree one caked on just grease. The one from Dawn, no grease on my hand. Dawn, you win again, you win again. So I'm gonna say skip this one, even though you're getting 27 gallons of it. In the long run, it's probably gonna be cheaper just to use the Dawn than to continue pouring <laughs> soap in this one, to be honest. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree Dawn knockoff one. Vivian head and I'm gonna give the original, it's five. It deserves it, it's the winner. Olay's Revitalizing and Hydrating Body Lotion with Vitamin C. Oh, and they have the entire collection. There's one with Vitamin C, Dollar Tree knocked it off. Collagen, Dollar Tree knocked it off. And they have one with Hyaluronic Acid, which Dollar Tree knocked off. This one cost me $9.97. These cost me $1.25 each. That is $3.75 for three of them, or I could have spent $30 if I would have bought all three name brand. So I thought, you know what, let's try Vitamin C up against vitamin C. The Olay one giving me 17 ounces of product. The one from Dollar Tree is only giving me eight ounces of product. By purchasing the one from Dollar Tree, I saved $8.72. And they got no shame. Look at, they even did the same color scheme. This is part of their Be Pure line, which anytime I see anything in that store that says Be Pure, I'm picking it up because so far it has not let me down. Now these are so fancy looking like these. They even like shrink wrap the top, which I was so impressed with. Olay is promising a lot, okay? I don't know. I haven't seen the clinical trials. I haven't reviewed the clinical trials, but somebody researched this for me because they're saying that it will penetrate skin surface up to 10 layers. What is different about this lotion that it will penetrate that deep? In my opinion, I don't know about that claim because I don't, I, what, just by adding vitamin C to it doesn't mean it's going to penetrate any deeper. Is there a special kind of technology that you guys are using in your lotion? The brand name one is crafted with vitamin B3 complex and vitamin C. Dollar Tree does not promise anything with vitamin B3 complexes, but they do both promise to brighten and revitalize your skin. Olay promises not to leave a greasy residue behind. That's the first thing I'm checking. Dollar Tree is really stepping it up. I have to invest in this company. Let me smell. <gasps> oh, that smells divine. But Dollar Tree is right behind y'all. The scent of this guy is delish. The reason I didn't buy the brand name ones, you guys, is not only was I not going to spend $30 on lotion because when the hell am I going to use all this, but also collagen, from what I hear on the anti-aging streets, is that collagen cannot penetrate through your skin. I don't want to buy a $10 lotion if it ain't doing nothing. Vitamin C, I know, does help. The hyaluronic acid probably does work as well. At Dollar Tree, who cares? You got lotion for three years, but you only paid $3. Let's smell this one. <gasps> oh, this one's a little bit different. Wait, wait. Okay, they have the same fragrance, but the collagen one is yellow. Is that the collagen coming through? <laughs> I don't know. The Dollar Tree one on this hand, they look very similar. Dollar Tree, look how fast that's moving. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. The Olay is not moving. The one from Dollar Tree is very liquidy, watery. Look at this, feels so nice. Okay, let me get to this one because he is sliding all the way down. Huh, different. While they both absorbed into my skin nicely, I do like how the brand name one has absorbed and the smell. Unfortunately, not 100% the same, slightly different. I think putting it here on paper 
paper, you guys can see how the one from Dollar Tree is a little bit more watery, a little bit more milky, still leaning towards this guy, even at the price point. Just based on my first impression, I'm still gonna go for the Dollar Tree one because you are saving $8, but I would not say never buy this one. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree do three Vivian heads, and I'm gonna give the brand name one for Vivian heads. I knocked a Vivian head off for price. Method bathroom cleaner and the Dollar Tree do. Awesome bathroom cleaner. They even copied the shape of the bottle. <laughs> Not copied, inspired by. Now Dollar Tree, $1.25. The Method brand, which I think this is Target, isn't it? This guy here is $3.49. Now the Method one does say that it is an antibacterial and it kills 99% of household germs. This one from Dollar Tree doesn't say that, it just says it's a bathroom cleaner, it cleans mildew, mold, and removes soap scum. This one did come in a few different colors. Maybe one of the other colors kills the germs. I just grabbed this one because it was yellow and I thought it was gonna smell like lemons, but I'm wrong about that too because it just says fresh scent. It doesn't tell me what the smell is. It's not my favorite. I thought it was gonna be lemony fresh <laughs> because it's yellow, but it's not. It's not my favorite. I'm just gonna spray them on the table, wipe it down. My table, I haven't cleaned it since my last video, so it's probably disgusting. But don't judge me. I'm not going to your house judging you. Are you gonna send that maid? Go ahead and send the maid then if you're gonna talk a lot of crap. Okay, so we'll start with the actual brand. See how it sprays? That to me makes a difference. I need it to spray like a mist, not like squirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, hey, my table's pretty clean. Why is it leaving like a little residue behind? I don't like that. If you're gonna leave residue behind, absolutely not. I'll stick with this one. <laughs> that lets me keep my fungalitis. <laughs> now this guy, I hope it sprays well. If not, we're gonna transfer bottles. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh no, it has a great spritz. Let me see. Mm, the smell, the smell smells like grandma's house. And I'm sorry, grandma. <laughs> it's, no, 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 let's wipe it quick. But see, this one does not have like a foamy, you know when you do soap? Why is this napkin yellow? The food coloring is very intense in that. That makes me worry. Like, is it gonna turn my countertops yellow? <laughs> have you ever seen that happen? Oh my God, that's so sad when somebody's house is starting to, <laughs> to yellow. <laughs> that's not funny, but I'm just saying, like they're probably using this. They both dried the same. This one felt like it has a residue. Maybe that's what's killing the germs on here, but it did feel like it left something on the surface. I hate that, but the smell wasn't horrible. This one cleaned it shiny like Windex, but the scent, we can work on that though. Pick a different flavor, <laughs> okay? Y'all should discontinue this one. I'm gonna say on this one, you might wanna pass. Just get, don't get this one either. <laughs> Don't get either. I'm not really impressed with either of them. So I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree bathroom cleaner to Vivian Heads. And I'm gonna give the Method brand name cleaner, bathroom cleaner to Vivian Heads equal. It, it just skip. Sweet Hawaiian rolls. Most people love these things. These are the original. They're heavenly. This pack here will cost you $3.99. This pack here from Aldi will cost you $1.39. They both have 12 rolls. There's nothing fancy. They're just the plain original rolls. So we're gonna compare apples to apples here, ladies and gentlemen. 80 calories. The one from the original King's Hawaiian has 90 calories. Okay. They both smell kind of like sweet bread. The original ones are beautiful. Y'all kind of sloppy, Aldi. Aldi, whatever you guys are called. Kind of sloppy. These are beautiful. Y'all took y'all's time. There's workmanship right there in that. We'll cut them in half to see if they both crumble up the same. The dupe, the knockoff, they seem thicker than certain. No, that's a lie, because these feel exactly the same. Oh, but these look just so much nicer. Look at the bottom. Right, these look like you took your time. Presentation, if you make sliders or like little miniature sandwiches, these are, the presentation is way nicer. Ooh, I can even feel like kind of the buttery bottom of this one. I'm impressed with the appearance of these guys. And obviously the flavor, cause I've had them before. This one, hmm, interesting. 
The one from Aldi seems a little bit fluffier on the inside. The original looks a little bit denser on the inside. They do have different textures once you cut into them. I'll taste these first though, because I know the original flavor. Ready? Mm, perfect sweetness, dead on. Let me taste the original to make sure. Mm -mm. These are sweeter. These are way like chewier, denser. These are crumbling on me. When I chew, they kind of crumbled up. The texture on this one, they're not touching it. They're not touching it at all. The sweetness, they're pretty similar. These are still a little bit sweeter. The original still wins. Now the price difference is huge. Not huge, but double the price. <laughs> so I'm going to give the dupe of the Hawaiian sweet rolls three. Vivian heads. It's a miss. Tostitos hint of lime chips are the best chips on the market. Today, I told you guys about these a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because I put you onto this. The way that they season these chips is everything. And it's just a hint of lime. These are $1.69 and these are $2.98. The bags look the same. They want you to know who they're competing with here. Listen, if you've never had these, give the originals a shot because they are delicious. I can already smell a difference in the corn. It's a different corn smell. These still smell better to me. Can you see that? You can actually see the corn in the one from Aldi. This is the original Tostitos one. So already like the way they look, it's throwing me off. Some people might like the chunkier corn pieces in there. If you're gonna copy it, then you gotta copy it right. I mean, these look slightly different. So in my head, they're gonna taste slightly different. Nope, it's a mess. These just have such a nice, clean crunch. I don't know how else to explain it. These, it's just chunkier. I don't know. They're just different. This one has less of the hint of lime than this one does. It's worth every penny for these. They're close, but they're not there yet. They still need to perfect these a little bit more to even compete with these guys. So I'm going to give the Aldi Hint of Lime Chips to Vivian Heads. Nourished Nail Kit, the brand name one. Raspberry scent, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Raspberry, but they also have a citrusy, orangey one as well. I had to pick up both because these two under $3, amazing. And each one has two little nail products in there. This one has two as well, but this one cost me $9.99. So by buying the Dollar Tree Raspberry to compare to the brand name Raspberry, I saved $8.74. Easy decision for me. These are good for dry, dehydrated, brittle nails. The brand name one says it is made with bio-sourced plant-based ingredients. There is a raspberry nail nourishing polish, which will restore and rejuvenate your nail. And then the little creamier one is your cuticle hydration raspberry as well. So you're not gonna be crusty anywhere. I ordered this on Amazon and it got delivered to a neighbor and they kept it. Isn't that outrageous? How rude is that? It's the holidays. The Dollar Tree nail polish is yellow. The cuticle one looks similar. The brand name one is so cute. Look at the packaging. The same amount of product, even though the Dollar Tree one looks a little bit smaller. We're saving tons of money by going this route. This has to be a first impression. I'm gonna have to try this for a couple days or a couple weeks to let you know if my nails are still brittle. Now let's try the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree one feels and looks like oil. Is that good? Isn't that better? That smells like pure raspberry. This is just nail polish. This is like an oil. Oh, that smells really nice. I think you just leave it, right? The Dollar Tree one is super thick. The brand name one nail polish is already dry. The Dollar Tree. <gasps> the Dollar Tree is not a nail polish. The Dollar Tree is an oil. So I'm gonna give the brand name one three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree two Vivian heads because I don't think it's nail polish. Lucky Charms. Now they do a lot of knockoffs or dupes of cereal. They're calling theirs Marshmallows and Stars. The original will cost you $2.99. The Aldi will cost you $1.35. And that's pretty much what I've seen with all the cereals. They're about half the price that you can get them like at a Walmart. They both smell the same. Oh, I'm missing a whole bunch of marshmallows. Where are my marshmallows at? Oh, these marshmallows are brighter and more vibrant and all that good stuff. Oh, okay, I remember. They don't use the artificial colors and stuff, but I love the organic 
food coloring they put in that. All the chemicals are delicious. <laughs> that's why the colors are popping over here. These are kind of bland and dull. Maybe that's why it looks like there's less marshmallows. Almond milk in both of them. They're pretty close. I mean, the shapes are different, obviously. I don't know, these look more delicious. Like, I wanna try these. The color is getting me for real. They've already trained my brain to know that this is better because of the colors. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a try first. <laughs> I keep getting a whiff of cardboard paper from this guy. I got the whiff when I first opened the box. I thought it was the box, but as the cereal is sitting here in front of me, I'm getting the whiff again. It's a great price. It's a good product. It tastes different. The cardboard smell is throwing me way off. The colors are throwing me off the whole thing. And you know, I love finding a good dupe, but I'm going to stick to the original. I just, it, I could just see a difference and taste a difference in this one. So I'm gonna give the Aldi Marshmallows and Stars to Vivian Heads. Neutrogena Makeup Remover Erase Stick like a pencil to take off makeup if you make a mistake, I think. And then Dollar Tree's dupe of the same thing. The Neutrogena one has vitamin C, so does the one from Dollar Tree. The Neutrogena one cost me $10, Dollar Tree $1.25, that's saving me $8.75. They're both giving me 0 0.04 fluid ounces of product, so you're paying for the same amount. I didn't even know this thing existed until I saw the one at Dollar Tree. Instantly corrects makeup mistakes on brows, lips, and eyes. Is it gonna erase my freckles? That's why I kept them on. Allows you to precisely target and remove makeup mistakes, ensuring that your overall look stays flawless. So maybe sometimes the eyeliner is kind of crooked. It'll clean that up. Maybe the lipstick is out of line, but is it taking off the foundation? If you have found, maybe. Pretty much everything we have today is by Be Pure. They're on a mission. <gasps> Excuse me, what do you mean you're made by two different people? Did you know about this? If this works, I'm going back to get tons from Dollar Tree. How scandalous. Okay. okay, that's not working well. Okay, we're gonna have to try the lipstick. Am I doing it wrong? It feels nice on the skin. Let's try the one from Dollar Tree. It lightened up that freckle. <laughs> Okay, neither one is working. Not the name brand, not the Dollar Tree. The ones on the Dollar Tree side lightened up a lot. I mean, I can still see traces of them. It is kind of taking them off, but I'm kind of impressed. It's not rubbing off my makeup. It's like lightly taking off just that top coat. But I feel like my foundation is still intact. They're both working exactly the same. I see no difference. They both feel the same. They both are kind of gliding on the same way. I'm not sure what to think of these. If you want to test it out, go ahead and pick up the one for Dollar Tree. For $1.25, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Neutrogena two Vivian heads and I'm going to give the Dollar Tree one one Vivian heads. Teeth whitening mouthwash. The Crest cost me $6.97. Dollar Tree, $1.25. Here are my thoughts on these whitening mouthwashes. I love them. If you don't want to sit 30 minutes with a strip in your mouth to whiten your teeth or you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars to go to a dentist to whiten your teeth, to me, this is even better than the strips. Why? Because the mouth mouthwash not only takes all the nastiness out of your mouth, but it also gets in between the teeth. So it's not just whitening the surface, but it whitens in between. So if you want to invest the $6, I'm going to say it's still worth it because those strips are expensive. And a little bit of this mouthwash every day to me is going to be better than doing those strips once every six months. So that's a pro tip. But if we can get whitening toothpaste from Dollar Tree and save ourselves $5.72, all day, yes. The Crest one does promise to make your teeth whiter in seven days, and it has peroxide in it. That's the secret sauce. The one from Dollar Tree also has peroxide in it, but which one has peroxide higher on the list? The peroxide in the one from Dollar Tree is the fifth ingredient down in the Crest brand name one. The peroxide is the third ingredient down, so more peroxide in this one, but we are saving tons of money. I'm still gonna say this, but if you don't wanna spend this much and you still want Want the whitening effect this might be worth it let's see Ooh, smells like Listerine oh this one has a nicer sweeter smell this one's very intense okay let's pour some out for the homies <laughs> I'll try the brand name first 
oh, very refreshing. My eyes are crying. If you've never tried a whitening mouthwash, try it. And you'll see what I'm talking about, where that peroxide is in between the teeth and in all the little crevices. That was divine. Great experience. I feel very refreshed. The actual flavor and scent are not so overpowering that I could not swish around for the right amount of time. So this is worth the money, in my opinion. But let's see if for $1.25 we can get something similar. Another little tip for mouthwash is you should do your mouthwash and then do not drink or eat anything for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now we'll try this one. Very intense. The second ingredient in this guy is alcohol. The crest is alcohol free. That's why this one is so intense. And when it's that intense, it's gonna dry out your mouth. Listen to me like I'm a dentist, but back me up dentists that are watching and dental hygienists. Alcohol free one is not gonna dry out your mouth. And also it's gonna allow you to swish around longer cause it's not gonna feel like your mouth is burning off. If you're on a budget and you have to try this, it's kind of giving me the same kind of bubbly effect in my mouth and it does have peroxide so it might might help with the whitening for a dollar 25 why not give it a try maybe if you haven't tried a whitening mouthwash maybe start here and if you love it and you feel like it's something you want to continue maybe you make the investment into this guy because this guy is totally worth it so for all of those reasons I'm gonna give the brand name one five Vivian heads even at the cost and I'll give the Dollar Tree one three Vivian heads moisturizing lotion brand name Walmart the brand name is gonna cost you $19.99 the Walmart knockoff is going to cost you $6.47. That is a savings of over $13. Is moisturizer not moisturizer, just moisturizer? I'm going to answer my own question and say no. Some moisturizers are a little bit better than others, but I'm saying for $13, give them a try. If you love the brand name and you're like, there is no substitute, let us know in the comments down below. If you're a person that has very dry skin, cracked skin, eczema, any kind of skin condition and you need a lot of moisture, let me know if this is worth the savings or if you should just stick with the brand name. The Walmart one, that's what it looks like. Very faint smell of fragrance. It's not crazy. The brand name has absolutely no smell to it. I am going to use these little sticks to pull some out and that's a little pro tip that I do. I never just stick my fingers into big old tubs of moisturizer or lotion. I always buy these at Dollar Tree or Walmart anywhere just so that it stays clean and fungalitis free. You're not sticking your dirty fingers. You're using this, scooping out how much you need and then you throw it away. Just a pro tip, just my craziness, just what I do. Let's see if these lotions are similar. I'm just letting you know now that the savings is so huge that I'm just going, listen, I'll just put twice as much on, <laughs> right? If this was a dollar, two dollars, five dollars savings, then I'd be like, well, let's just splurge and get the brand name. As far as consistency, they are feeling the same. I know this is a very popular brand and all the things they tell us in infomercials, but I'm going Walmart's pretty good at knocking things off and I'm sure the active ingredient is pretty close, if not exactly the same. But I will give this to the brand name one, this one here. It looks a little bit creamier than this one does. Maybe that's just the way they mixed it, the amount of time that they mixed it. I don't know, it might be the ingredient. First, what we're gonna do is just put a small amount on my hand but way too much, but let's just rub it in <laughs> for the next hour to see what we have. Okay, that feels really nice actually. My only problem with products like this is that I want lotion to just be sucked up by my skin. I just hate stuff sticking on me. If you're that type of person, let me let you know now that the brand name <laughs> is definitely absorbing a lot faster than the Walmart one is. The Walmart knockoff is feeling very oily. This one is in, it's locked in, it's getting in there. In a few minutes, it should be somewhat gone. So just keep that in mind. I know we're saving a lot of money and maybe you want the oily feel. Maybe you wanna be slipping and sliding in bed all night. I don't. So, I still want to save $10 though. <laughs> I also thought it would be fun to use one of these blotting sheets that you put on your face to blot the oil off to see which one of the two has more oil in it because I think that also will determine how fast it absorbs. I'm not a scientist. That's not very scientific, but your eyeballs will tell you something. So the blue will be the brand, pink will be the Walmart. Do about that much. 
<laughs> this one looks a little chunkier, like you haven't mixed it all the way thoroughly. But the brand name one, very creamy, very soft and silky. And I think based on our little blotting sheets, I think my conclusions are correct. This one has more oil than the brand name one does. I don't know if that makes a difference to anyone. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Walmart knockoff three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the original four Vivian heads. I knocked off a Vivian head for the price, but this one performed better overall. Freckle pin, freckle pins, so that you can give yourself faith freckles. Maybe for Halloween? Do people wear this every day? This thing cost me 15 bucks. Dollar Tree, a dollar 25 each. One is dark brown and then one is light brown. If they don't work for freckles, I'll use them as eyeliner. Multi-purpose, multi-use. You can pick up the Dollar Tree ones and save yourself $13.74. I don't think there is a technique to this. This is a freaking marker. Maybe you do have to press hard. You can barely see it on my hands. Maybe it's supposed to be kind of faint like that. <gasps> okay, Dollar Tree, I'm scared. <laughs> this is an eyeliner. Y'all gotta do better with this Dollar Tree. The color is nicer. I think you can see that. And I guess they just stay on all day because how embarrassing would it be at work if you showed up with freckles and live with them? <laughs> you are not about to be the next Mandela effect. So don't you show up in the morning with freckles and leave without because we're going to put you on that list of Mandelas. I'll put you quick. I'm just going to dot it on. I'm not going to smear it. I'm not going to do anything else. How do you take these off if you hate them? <sighs> If you mess this up, you have jacked up your makeup. The one from Dollar Tree, it's like a little gel. The pencil is like a little marker. I like that better. Maybe you have to take a little off so it's not so harsh. If you give yourself fake freckles, <laughs> You're gonna have to get a good pattern. And then if you go to work the next day, your freckles move. This one is pretty impressive because it's super light. Can you see my freckles? I might have to go darker just so you guys can see. There's the brand name side, very realistic, especially from this distance. The applicator is awesome. The way they come on is kind of light and faded, so it looks more realistic and it doesn't look like <laughs> this mess. But maybe my technique was bad here. I don't know, but now I've got to go the rest of the video with the freckles. So I'm going to give the brand name one for Vivian heads. I only took a Vivian head off for the price. Otherwise, the product's decent. And then I'm going to give the dollar tree one, two, Vivian heads. Satin heatless curl set. Have you seen the girls that put the little thing? You look kind of crazy, but if it works, it works. Dollar Tree has one now. And they're like, listen, that should only cost a dollar and a quarter. And I agree because the brand name one, outrageous price, but it might be a better quality, a better length. I don't know. It might bring accessories. It better because this one cost me $16. The Dollar Tree, obviously $1.25. So that saves me $14.73. These are probably comfortable to sleep in. Like, I get it. I'm not even crying about the product being silly and turning him off. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm strictly talking price. This one comes with 34 inch long curling rod and then two scrunchies. The Dollar Tree one comes with one hair rod, two elastic, two scrunchies here, which I think you'd... I don't think it's as long either. It has your two little matching scrunchies. How much longer is this one? A couple inches longer. For almost $15, you're gonna get that much more product? Give me $15 and I'll use this one all day. Now this one has a little bit firmer foam in there. This one is super soft. Ooh, there's a rod in there. Does this one have a rod? No, it does not. So this one's gonna take shape. Isn't the idea that it just sits on your head like that? This one has a cute design. Who cares? If you're going to bed, it's getting wrapped in your hair. Now you're supposed to use it is get a little bit of hair and you roll it around <laughs> the rod and then grabbing it from underneath, I guess, a little bit more. Do I have to have really long hair for this? There is a learning curve. <laughs> is it just for the front? I thought it was for all of my hair. So, <laughs> Okay, it might not be for short hair though. If you do this and you love it, I need to hear from you the comments. This is a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it because I'm losing control of the situation. <laughs> this is a product you're going to use like three times and then be like, forget it. Too much work. This is complicated. Listen, here's the deal. If this is what I had to deal with overnight for $1.25, fine, whatever. For $15, I would be upset and feel guilty every time I saw it just sitting there never being used. So far as quality, you're not going to be able to tell. No one's going to be able to tell. So just know that Dollar Tree is selling these now. So 
So for all of those reasons, Dollar Tree, I'm gonna give them two Vivian heads and the brand name one, I'm gonna give them two Vivian heads. Hydro Band-Aids, waterproof. They look super fancy and they're expensive. Dollar Tree has them now. The brand name one will cost you $11.99. Dollar Tree, $1.25, that saves us $10.74. The brand name one is gonna give us 20 Band-Aids. The Dollar Tree only 10. Buy you two. You're still under three bucks. Not a good deal. They both promise pretty much the same thing. 100% waterproof, 100% waterproof. Brand name one says advanced fast healing gel band-aids. Protects against germs. Supports the skin's natural healing. Lasts up to seven days. Drug free. Helps reduce scarring. Oh, that's German engineer technology or what? Promotes moist environment for fast healing. It does have built-in technology. The brand name one says it has a small Smart Eel technology. It promotes up to two times faster healing. Dollar Tree is saying that they can do that too. It's always scandalous when I see things that are so close. They look like artificial skin. Oh, these are impressive. There's the brand name one. Dollar Tree is really going to town with these companies. They are bringing in all the good stuff. They both feel the same. Look how advanced this is. That's not like a normal Band-Aid. You know what it feels like? A really thin silicone sheet. Oh, you can't even see it. Look at that. Okay, the Dollar Tree one. There's a difference now that I'm trying them on. The brand name one is super thin. Like it went on. I don't feel it. You can't see it. I mean, that's not coming off. The Dollar Tree one is a little thicker. Like I can feel it. Mm. There's a quality difference here. You can definitely see it. You see how it's not grabbing all the way around? Okay, they tried. It's very close, but it's not the same. See the Dollar Tree one coming off? This one is on. That's going nowhere. So I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads, one Vivian head off for price. I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one two Vivian heads. Listerine breath strips, Dollar Tree's dupe of the Listerine breath strips. A pack of three cost me $5.34. One pack at Dollar Tree cost me $1.25. The Dollar Tree one brings 24 little strips per pack. Each one of the Listerine also brings 24 per pack. I think we can all use these. For $1.25, why not carry some in your purse or in your suitcase or in your bag? Hopefully these are not too intense. I don't know that they're made in the same place, but they look very... The packaging was almost identical and this packaging, you could have fooled me. The ones from Dollar Tree do look a little bit creamier in color. I'm gonna try the Listerine first so I know what it should taste like. That melted in three seconds. That is intense. I can't breathe. I don't know how people buy these things. They're too much. That will kill anything in your mouth. That is gonna clean and disinfect and leave you squeaky clean. My drink's not gonna taste the same, but I need to cleanse the palate. Okay, now the Dollar Tree one. Is it okay to take two? I will buy the Dollar Trees because they're not as intense. The Listerine ones are gonna burn the nose hairs right out when you exhale. This one is a little bit more mild, still very refreshing, still cooling sensation, but it's not burning the insides of you. Not only are we saving money, but it's just as nice without putting you in a coma. <laughs> the Listerine one promises to kill 99% of germs and ha nose hairs. <laughs> yeah, the one from Dollar Tree doesn't promise that, but too intense for me. I'm just gonna do about three little spritzes and then we'll see which one melts faster. I caught that on camera, yes I did. Did you see that? Let's watch it again because that was pretty incredible. It looks like the Dollar Tree one melted way faster. Let me touch it to see if I can help it. They're acting exactly the same. So I'm gonna say save yourself the money and the nose hairs. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the Listerine three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one four Vivian heads. If you want to continue watching videos like this one, I recommend you watch this one next.